Section 6.1 is on systems of equations. So let's just refresh our memory a little bit about um, systems uh, that contain linear equations, because we're going to get into some examples where we're solving systems that are not just entirely linear. So what I want to do is I want to sketch um, a linear system that has one solution. So, and again, we're just we're just sketching here. So here's one linear line, linear equation. Here's another one, and you can see that they intersect in one spot. So there's some x and some y that is the intersection. We call that the solution to the system. Solution. All right, and then because we have one. A solution here we can uh, we can label this particular system as a consistent system and it also is an independent system so I'm going to do the labeling directly below each graph here all right so you're familiar with that so there's another kind of system we could have um, that has infinite solutions so I'm going to start here by drawing a linear function um, right there. And then I'm going to pick a different color. And I'm going to try really hard to show you this is a separate line, but I'm going to draw it on the top here. So you can see that they are uh, not only parallel lines, they are coinciding lines. One line is on top of the other. So it appears as if they are one line. Um, and we can see for this one, that we, we would have, let me change colors here, we would have an infinite number of solutions because there's infinite points, change colors again, infinite number of points on these two lines that work to give us an infinite number of xy pairs, so it's an infinite um, system. So we can label this one as consistent. This is also a consistent system. Oops consistent, but this one is a dependent system. And I think the way I think of this is because there are two lines that appear as one. I kind of think of them as, if you will, hooked together. So if one of them moves, the other one's attached to it. That's just how I think of it in my mind. So that helps me remember that these two are dependent. The one line is dependent on the other line. And the third system that we might have would involve, again, just linear at this point. We have a line there. And then we could have a line that's parallel. These are supposed to be parallel lines. And you can see, because they're parallel lines, they never intersect. So I have no solutions here. No, they'll never have any solutions there. So we can label this one as being an inconsistent system. And then dependent, independent doesn't really um, matter for this one because uh, it's considered to be inconsistent. So that's the end of this, um, this video. And I'm going to do some examples in the videos following.